everyone, and welcome back to Oblivion. We are still doing coral quests, which means that uh, I believe we can pick up the. I believe. Yep, separated at birth. That's one of them. Uh, I should go and find Raynell Jermaine around town. There's three quests with the Jermaine brothers. And hopefully we'll do all of them today. That'd be nice. And then there's one more in Coral, so if it's quick, then we may uh, hit that one up too. But we'll see. We will see. Okay, you're right there. Do you want to put me in yet? Okay, there we go. That was stupid. We don't appear to be lagging as hard, knock on wood. Man, last episode was a bit- oh no, now we're lagging a little bit. Frame rate. There he is. Ah! Reno, come back. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Shano. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Apologies, my good friend. I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I, I am. Didn't I see you in Shaden all they say? But I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. You're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... <gasps> you're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. There's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. Thanks, Reynold. I, I appreciate that. Thanks for that. Alright, let's go to Chaydenall. That's funny. I'm perfectly capable of besmirching my own good name on my own. I like that. I mean, he's not wrong. Town drunks don't generally have a good name. I mean, just saying. There's a loose thread in my side silk. I've ripped it off. But I didn't drop it. I can't even make a mess properly. And the game can't load properly. I can't make a mess properly. There we go. Oh, that's reassuring. Mean is not a real person. Ah, oh, another keen adventurer. You have that twinkle in your eye that tells me you've seen many battles. You're not a real person. Ah, oh, that makes me quite nostalgic. You were an adventurer once? I most certainly was. I was the finest swordsman to grace this beautiful land in my day. No bandits, no wild boar would stand in my way of glory. I used to plunder a fort or two in a single day. And then sell my spoils, and then partake in fine drink and food for a week. But, well, that was back when I was a much younger lad. And those days are far behind me. But I still remained as skilled with the sword as ever. You should never let a good talent waste away. You would do well to remember that in your twilight years. Thanks. Reynald Germain. No. Don't know anyone by that name. There's a Gilbert Germain in town, however. Maybe he can help you. Thank you. He's staying over at the Newlands Lodge, but you also might find him walking around town. Good luck. Thanks, normal talking person. Goodbye. All right, now Chain Hall is uh, not too... Uh... Not too frame ready. 
Uh, get me inside the lodge. Get me inside the lodge. Greetings, my Dunmer sister. Uh, I that some of the provinces were well met. Oh my God, there's so many. How Probably are you? How goes it? There's Every so many orcs in here. Fantastic. I sense oh. for action. Hello. There are some Go quality bother books someone mouths. else. Just don't catch There's him. There's no need to be that way. Goodbye. A lot about running his school. How can I help you today, friend? Person. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, Reynold Germain. He... He's alive? I was told that my mother and brother never survived. This is amazing. I'll need to go see him at once. You'll have to excuse me. I'd better leave right away. But please... Come and see us in Coral. It would be wonderful for us both to be able to thank you for helping us find each other again. This reunion will be the happiest day of my life. Okay. Well, I guess Good you guys you. weren't really separated How at birth. It? Fantastic. Thank you. If you were separated at birth, then you wouldn't know you had a brother at all. More than likely. I see you down there in the corner. And he's running, so he's probably gonna make it back in good time. That's a cool weapon. Don't talk to me. I can't stop to talk now. I've got to go meet my brother. I'm busy. I don't give a Safe shit. Safe travels. Good day to you. Hello. You haven't seen my sons, have you? They went off into the forest to fight those monsters, and I'm worried about them. What a shame. No doubt. Leave me alone. Ah, it's you. You're the one... Uh, who are you again? Right. Right, you were finding that fellow who stole my name. Have you had any luck? Yeah, I found your brother. He's on his way here right now. What? What? Brother? You misunderstand. I don't have a brother. Maybe I misunderstand. Another bottle of wine will help. Reynold? Yes, that's me. And apparently some other fellow as well. Strange thing, that. Knowing that someone else is also you makes my head hurt. Gilbert? What? Either I'm far too drunk or I'm misunderstanding you. I have a brother? How can that be? My family was killed long, long ago. At least that's what I've been told. Perhaps it's time for me to stop drinking. And he's coming here to see me, you say? Yeah, I better sober up. Brother? Wow. Hope he's got a wine cellar. Hello. You haven't seen my sons, have you? They went off into the forest to fight those monsters, and I'm worried cool. about them. I'm uninstalling this mod. I can't believe I... I can't stop to talk now. My sons. Have you seen my sons? Reynold. Mystery solved, eh? Reynold had a twin brother. Well, he had all of us fooled. Uh, sure. Sons. Yes. Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. Creatures? For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm not far from Coral. They're coming from some place in the Great Forest. I don't know where, but Rallis may know more by now. My boys will take up the fight, even if the guards won't. Doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls, it still affects us all. They expect me to go with them, but I... I fear in my old age I'm not the warrior I once was. Would you... Would you go in my place? Sure. Somehow... I knew you'd do the right thing. I'm supposed to meet them at Wayne and Priory. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. They're gonna wait for me. I... I need a drink to calm my nerves. Please, excuse me. Alright, so are you gonna go meet your brother? There we go. Please. The Jermaine brothers 
uh, have been reunited. After they speak, I should speak to Gilbert, who seems more level-headed than the two brothers. Don't waste time speaking Ooh. to an old man. Oh, damn, not this Go again. and help Wake my up. son. It is nice to see you. You're not dreaming, Reynold. It's me, your brother, Gilbert. That can't be. I don't have a brother. I mean, I, I never knew my real family. Who did you say you were again? I am your twin brother. When we were very small, our farm was attacked by ogres. My... Our father and I escaped. We thought you and mother had both been killed, if we had only known. All I know is that traveling merchants found me in the wilderness by the body of my mother. I was raised by the monks at Wayne and Priory. My brother, it is wonderful to see you again. We will have much to talk about in the next days. <laughs> Great. I can't thank you enough for helping to reunite me with Reynold. I never would have guessed he was still alive. We have much to discuss, but if you have time, I'd beg you to stay a moment longer and hear about our home, Weatherly. Uh, Reynold? He's Reynold. I'm Gilbert. Great. Weatherly. Weatherly was our family's home for generations. Our parents fled it when ogres attacked. They became separated. My father carried me to safety. He later returned and believed Reynold and my mother had perished. Since ogres are cannibals, he didn't expect to find their bodies. Thankfully, however, it seems that my mother managed to carry Reynold to safety. While my mother didn't survive, Reynold did, and for that I'm grateful. But we both want more. We want our home back. We're not fighters. You appear to have more skill than you either of us. You have a Daedric camera on your back. Would you go to Weatherly and see if it's still inhabited by ogres? Sure. I will help you. Thank you. Now, we're not quite sure where the estate is located. We'll offer up what we know, however. We believe it's somewhere south of Coral, but north of Fort Kamala. It may be difficult to find. Since no one's lived there for many years, it may be quite overgrown by now. If you find it, let us know. We'll be waiting anxiously. Sure thing, Weatherly. I wish my father had given me a better description of its location, but for some reason all he told me was... South of Coral, north of Fort Kamala. Be careful. I don't know what dangers may lurk in the Great Forest. But we'll do that in a bit. Um, we'll do the killing field first. Here they are. Antis, calm down. We'll be leaving soon enough. I just can't wait. This is going to be the greatest fight ever! This is no joke, Antis, and it's nothing to be excited about. If you don't want to be doing this, then why are you even here? Father and I can handle this. I'm here because even though I'm afraid, I know that we have to do this. Father would feel the same way. Father's not scared. Don't you dare say that. You'll see when he gets here. I'll ask him, and then you'll see. Who are you? Why isn't Father here? He knows how important this is. What do you mean he's not coming? He told you to come with us instead? Has he no honor? He's an old man. Yes, I've heard of the place, but I'm not sure where it is. I think your best bet would be to speak to Sabine Lal at the Fighters Guild. I don't need She's to. explored the back country outside of Coral quite a bit. No, <laughs> I'm afraid I have no time for small talk, friend. I'm waiting for my father, Valis Odil. Have you seen him in town by any chance? Yeah, he ain't coming, bro. He's not coming with us? I think I understand, and it is better that he remains safe. Though I wonder why he has asked you to take his place. You would join us, though you have no personal stake in this fight? Hm, an honorable deed. I gladly accept your help, then. There's no point in waiting here any longer. Follow me. It's just... Can I talk to you about the creatures? I think I'm ready for this. But I worry about Antis. He's never seen a fight like this before. I'll save profusely. The farm is near. Stay close. Let's follow them, but not stick too close so they don't stop and do idle dialogue. We will spill their blood. In the name of our father. 
Antis, thanks for slowing us up. Ugh, I walk so much faster than them. Alright, let's get a move on. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Who are you? Hail! I scour the land, seeking fortune for Gortwog and Orsinian. Someday all will recognize the true wealth of the orcs. Sure. You too seek wealth, do you not? May you find it, and may tales of your journey be legendary. Thanks, man. Alright, so now that we're here, let's save. Just in case. I've arrived at Odil Farm. I need to help Antis and Rallis Odil defeat the creatures that have been plaguing their home. Let's save. Stay focused. Watch your backs and be careful. Antis, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go! You think the Avenger will help Defend me? Defend yourselves. Here they come! Survive the first wave. This is really fortunate that I had a random adventure here. Ah. Save. Defeated. I should return to Kor and tell Valus of Dill that his sons are safe. Good job, guys. <laughs> we beat them! We slaughtered them all! Did you see? Did you see how well I fought? Sure. Let's go see my father and let him know of our victory. Sure. Let's go find Weatherly first. Have I already found Weatherly? I have. <laughs> Let's just travel to Weatherly. I see an ogre. I see two more ogres. I see three dead ogres. Okay, it looks like a lot of people died in here. That was probably the ogres doing, actually. But there's no ogres in here. What does it actually uh, say? I 
shouldn't have asked anybody else about Weatherly. This may have stopped the quest. I'm sure Weatherly only has three ogres at it. I found Weatherly south of Korra, but it's over one run with ogres. I should report that the ogres have been defeated. Okay. Great. Oh, hey, you're waiting outside for me. Is it safe for us to return to Weatherly yet? Yeah, it is, actually. The ogres are gone. It's safe. Wonderful. Weatherly is ours. Are you ready to take us there now? Uh, let's go. Right. We're off. I'll take you in a second. Where is Vallis? Like, for real, where did he go? There's a horse in town! How did you get through the loading screen? Why do you have a chair strapped to you? to offend. He wants to know his sons are safe. He'll forgive me for breaking and entering. Get out of here! You're back, and you've brought my sons with you. How wonderful! Yep. Uh, creatures. Foul things. They deserve the death you brought them. Sons. My boys are safe. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for sticking with them and helping a foolish old man. Please, take this. I won't be needing it any longer. My battles are over. I plan to live out my days on the farm in peace and quiet. Children, thank you. You too. All right, I'm leaving. Yeah, I'll definitely take you guys to Coral. I'll definitely walk you guys all the way to all the way home with my feet. You're home. Jermaine brothers have returned safely to Weatherly. Yeah, here it is. Thanks so much for getting us here safely. I'm afraid we aren't very wealthy, but here is all I can offer you at this time. Please, visit us again soon. Weatherly? You are welcome here in- Okay. Long the ogres certainly made a mess of this place. Hopefully, by the time you visit us again, we'll have it cleaned up. Sure. What about you? At long last. Gilbert should be able to help you with it. Okay. Um, I think the next quest will actually take a little bit to trigger. I think we need to wait for... Um, what's his face? Fastest to show up in Coral, which we can kind of get around by just standing in Coral and waiting, I think. Ah. I may have a bit of a proposition for you involving the Germain family you so recently assisted. Weatherly? So, the brothers have once again reclaimed Weatherly, eh? Good for them. Germain family. It was kind of you to escort the Germains back to Weatherly. However, the original owner of Weatherly left them an even greater legacy. In fact, there's quite a bit more to their family history than meets the eye. Want to hear about it? Sure. Excellent. Curiosity should never be denied, is it not so? And who knows, my story may prove profitable to both of us once it has come to its end. 
My tale actually begins with the father, Albert Germain. He was once in my employ, or should I say, the employ of my organization. Our organization? He was very good at obtaining things that people did not want to part with. A professional thief, to put it bluntly. Yeah, I know, I'm the fucking He was assigned box. to obtain a very valuable item for me. He succeeded, but decided to keep this item for himself. An unfortunate decision. He fled from Coral with his family and was never heard from again. Only his small son, Reynald, was found, wandering alone in the wilderness. Naturally, my associates and I believed he had perished. The wilderness is, after all, a dangerous place. No place to take your family. Then, these many years later, voila, the brother reappears. It seems the rest of the family did not die in the wilderness after all. What do you want me to do? Indeed. What is the point of my tale? Albert Germain builds Weatherly way out in the middle of nowhere. He was a thief, not a farmer. The only reason to establish such a place would be to stay out of the Coral Guard's sight. I believe that the item Albert stole, which rightly belongs to me, was hidden at the Weatherly settlement. Unfortunately, the notorious Red Guard Valley Ogres ransacked the place and probably took all of the loot back with them. If you were to obtain this item somehow and bring it to me, I would pay you very well for it. I can get you started by telling you where the ogres live. The rest is up to you. Okay. Albert? There isn't much to tell you about Albert Germain. He was one of my best, then he got greedy. The rest is history. By the way, Fathers, I just want to point out, you work for me. Gilbert and Reynald know nothing of their father's past deeds. If you want to tell them about it, suit yourself. I do not care to describe it. You will know it when you see it, I think. It is not something one of the ogres should have in his possession. Okay. Beware. The Red Guard Valley ogres are not known for their hospitality. Thanks. need to remind Fathis who works for who here, because I'm the fucking Gray Fox. That's not kosher. That's not, o that's not okay. Who the hell does he think he is? Also, Brindleholm, just so you know, there is a cave of ogres living right next door to you. Like it's really, really close. Just so you guys know. I'm gonna go clear it out for you, but just thought you should know. I arrived at the entrance to the Redguard Valley Cave. I should proceed inside. Yeah, there's some ogres about. Oh no, that's not ogres, that is goblins. That's a fucking goblin. Take all that. You can see me now. An ogre. That's what I expected. Nope, that's another goblin. So, into the ogre cave that has goblins outside of it. Oh, it's 
side of it, rather. I don't see another ogre. Give me them teeth. I'm never one to pass up good alchemy ingredients. Just rip your teeth out of your fucking head. Man, I have so many magic arrows. It's so nice. The other ogres would see the burst of fire that accompanies the deaths of their friends. Ooh, a flawless emerald. That's also something that probably shouldn't be in the possession of ogres. Just saying. I see you way over there. I see you as well. I didn't see you, but I heard you in my in my right ear. All right, what's next? Arrow of cleansing. That's an explosion one. Yes. satisfying just to shoot and then watch it blow up that's flattering where did the one I shoot go I shot go there he is there, but there's nothing over there. There's nothing in this room except for you. If I'm lucky, can I see the local map, please? Yes, this is leading back into this room. But that's leading back into that room. I think, we're, I think we go this way. Aha, this continues onward. This will be it. This is it. Ah, there's a fire here. Let's add some more fire to it. That didn't kill it immediately, but the fire did. The fact that it was on fire then killed it. And that's because it was a chieftain. But that's okay. It's a dead chieftain now. There it is. The Honor Blade of Coral. I've retrieved the Honor Blade of Coral from the Ogre Chieftain. This has... This has to be the item that Fathus was seeking. However, due to the nature of the item, I think someone at Castle Coral would be anxious to have this back. I need to decide whether to sell the weapon to Fathus or return it to the castle. Well, let's see here. 
I ha I am 300,000 gold. I am 300,000 gold rich. I don't really need the money. And fat, this works for me. So I think the choice is clear. Hello. Stolen item. There we go. Many years ago, when the Count was still alive, a daring thief stole the ancient honor blade of coral from out of this castle. Why? Because I kind of found it. This is incredible. I never thought to see this sword again. How did you... Never mind. One should not look a gift horse in the mouth. Please accept my thanks on behalf of the people of Coral for restoring this sword and the honor of our city. As a token of our gratitude, I bestow upon you a symbol of honor and heroism, the Escutcheon of Coral. Thank you. You've done a great service to Coral, and you should be proud. Thank you. Fare thee well. Let's see if Bathus is still around. He probably is. Uh, I do have a mod that, uh, one of the mods I have on here is a Bathus fix. So that means that he should, uh, head back to the Imperial City and be a fence again. Guess we gotta go to Weatherly. Didn't realize that uh, we actually had to talk to the brother. I mean, I've, it's part of the brother's quest, but we haven't actually talked to them at all this quest. Hey, boyo. You have something to tell me about my father? I didn't say that. Hi, Albert. I... I'm at a loss for words. Already I've heard that the Honor Blade rests again in Castle Coral, and the escutcheon of Coral you have is all the proof I need. My father had told us that he had hidden something away for us, something to provide for our future, but I never imagined it was this. I'm sorry you had to be tasked to right this wrong that my father was responsible for. Once again, you've stuck your neck out for us. Maybe in the past my family was notorious, but never let it be said that the current Germains don't pay their dues. I'd like you to have this keepsake. My father gave it to me when I was but a lad. I think you should have it. Thanks again, my friend. You are always welcome in our home. Four grand soldiers. Thanks. Honor suits you well. May your journeys always be safe. Thank you, Gilbert. Let's see if Bathus is still here. That'll be awkward. But then again, I am his boss. He can suck it up and take it. That was my decision as the Grey Fox to turn that in because I'm rich as fuck. I will never spend this money and yet I will keep acquiring more. It doesn't look like Bath this is still here, but that is all the time I have for today. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I've been Rael, and I will see you next time. Bye!